everyone, welcome back to Honest Try TV. Jason here, and today we are actually going to change my mother's air filter and her cabin air filter. She tells me uh, she hasn't changed it in probably over a year. Uh, she drives the 2019, she actually got a new uh, Ford Escape. So we're going to check it out, how it is, and how actually dirty they are. And um, I'm going to go step by step on how to install first the air filter, and then that should be the easier one. So my mom has a 2019 Ford Escape. I, th I believe it's the 2.4 liter one. Uh, so that actually has a different air filter. You'll see here as we open it. And um, I think the like the um, EcoBoost ones, they're like a cylinder type of air filters, which this one is not that. But yeah, let's move on forward. We're going to start with this right here. Both of the both filters are from SMP. I got these from the AutoZone. Um, and I believe you could also find these on Amazon. I will I'll attach the link down below if uh, if I can find one. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. And let's check this out. STP air filter, pretty standard, nothing too fancy over here. Let's open it up. And yeah, regular rectangle filter. Nice and clean. Better be because it's new, obviously. <laughs> All right, let's start it off. Let's get onto the engine, uh, or next to the engine, I should say. So here we go. So here, looking at the engine here, obviously there's no faceplate covering, so there's no real identifier. I did check the VIN, and this is a 2.4 liter uh, model that it has on this Escape here. So I think this is the base because this is also a front-wheel drive car. So I think this is just the base S model. So we'll move forward over here. To the um, uh, left, right of the engine right here is the actual filter uh, container box here. And it looked like they're very simple, simple, easy um, to remove. Uh, it's just two clips. If we can see here, there is one clip right here that you take off. And the other clip, which might be a little bit more difficult to see with the camera, is right, right there, right behind this cable here. So all you do... From my understanding, all you do is pop it out, take your hand behind the behind this uh, tube here, pop it out, and there you go. And then you, what you do, you lift up and pull to the left a little bit, and it should pop out. So we're going to lift up and then pull to the left, and there you go. You see the little three little locks right here? That actually goes into little groove sections right in there and it pops out so it's not going to fully come out because it has the it has this little uh sensor sticked into it and i don't i don't want to mess with it or anything like that so i'm just going to lift it up a little bit here on the side and you can see and you can see right there there's the air filter so i'm going to do is stick my fingers grab the little lip inside it might be a little difficult if you have larger fingers but there we go pop it out and slide it out let's see what it looks like to be honest it doesn't even look that bad my mom said that she hasn't changed it she can't even remember so i'll probably say over a year but compared to the new one right here i guess it is a little little darker but it doesn't look horrible i mean i've seen air filters check out my wife's uh, air filter that we did on the other previous video that we changed air filters for her car. It was a Jeep Renegade. That was dirty, especially the cabin air filter. But we'll get to that in a bit. So same thing. Basically, we do in reverse now. I'm going to take the new filter and pop it back in just like we took out this one. So new filter, black, the black rubber part on top right there. We're going to lift up the uh, air filter uh, housing container. Slide it back in there. Let's let it slide. All right, and you can see right there, the lip is now inside the the housing unit for it. And there we go. So now we're gonna place back down the lid. Same thing. We're gonna lift it up, and we're gonna try to get these three little points. Sorry, three points right here into their openings that they have right there. So we're gonna push down and slide to the slide to the right. There we go. Now they're in. You can see it's flush against it. And the end thing, you just clip the two clips part back. One, two, and that's it. All done. That's the air filter. Nice and simple. Let's hope the cabin air filter is nice and simple as well. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, so now we're back. We're gonna do the cabin air filter. We actually got the max filtration. This has the um, 
charcoal and baking soda. So it actually makes them smell really nice inside and brand new. Which really nice. This is also from STP. The model number is CAF1900. M. Again, this is for the 2019 Ford Escape. Uh, and let's open it up and see how it looks like inside. Nice box. We got it in Spanish in the back end. Pop it open. Comes nice and bagged. All right. Let's tear that open. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell. Very nice. You can see the carbon. And, oh sorry, you can see the charcoal. There you go. Let's see what we got in here. Installation instructions. Hopefully it's easy enough. We'll find out in a bit, I guess. And you can see that it has, I guess, rubber foamings on the top portion. I'm, per I'm sure that's going to be an indicator of how, which direction we're going to have to put it in. Oh, it even says airflow right there. Beautiful. All right, let's let's pop a, let's pop the door open and try to install this thing. All right, guys. So we're here. We're basically now going to get the replace the old cabin air filter with this new one right here, and my understanding of it is actually located um, underneath there from the center console uh, behind the glove compartment and directly underneath the center console. Okay, we're right underneath the glove compartment right here and there should be actually two um, caps that, uh, that attach to the mat up here. You can see one right there. And you can, there should be another one, but unfortunately my mom doesn't have another one, but it should go right here. Where my finger is so in her in your case you might have two uh, which you should have by the manufacturer but in this case we only have one which is right here on the side and all you do is you pinch the sides and it pops off just like that see that there should be two of these one there and one here now since we only have one the mat should be really easy now to pull down There we go, there's one side, and there's the other. So we pull that mat off, there it is. Now we're gonna go directly behind the actual center console here uh, on the car. All right, now it's gonna take a T20 socket here, screw to loosen up this bolt right there. Once this is loosened up, we should be able to take out the case, the facing, of the actual uh, air filter container and take it out. So let me get my socket wrench, pop the T20 in there, lefty loosey, and let's give it a whirl. So it didn't fit with the uh, actual socket wrench in there because it was too thick. So I actually got this extender piece here to hit on uh, attached to the T20. And now I can actually just turn it by hand, just like that. There we go, it's out, just one screw. And now we should be able to just squeeze the cabin filter cap here with two fingers. You can see there as I squeeze the two little uh, center pieces of it and then pop it out just like that. There it is. Now we're going to try to get the filter out. The actual uh, filter might get caught here with the with the mat so just be aware of that. So as you're pulling out It's a little hard to pinch. There we go. And you can see here that the foam part is on the rear. So you basically have to put the new new filter the exact same way you're actually putting in the old one. So just try to recall, remember how the which place the foam is. The foam on this instance is on the rear side. So let's pop this out. <coughs> So for me, it's actually getting more caught on top with some of the wiring. So that might be something to take note of as you're trying to do it. 
and it's getting kind of squeezed pretty hard. There we go. So not bad if you look at it actually. It doesn't look horrible for being never replaced actually. I wonder, maybe my mom made a mistake, but it looks fairly new to me. But either way, we got her a brand new one. Right here. And basically we're just gonna go in reverse, put this filter in with the foam facing the rear side. And put that screw back in, put the facing back in and then the screwing it back together. <sighs> All right, there we go. Nice and tight inside, finally. So we were having some issues, by the way. My sister helped me out with this. She was able to get in there. Thank you very much, Jen, for the help. Greatly appreciate it. And I'm sure mom appreciates it. But uh, we were having issues because there was this cable here, I can't, this one right here, and there's, and it kept giving a bunch back feedback. So it is okay to, to actually move it to the side as much as you can, and then push it, slide it, ease it in there. But now since the cabin air filter is installed, we're basically reversing everything like I said. We're going to put back the filter facing right here. All right. Now we're going to get the screw that it originally came with. Pop it back in there. Give it a little hand tightening. Take the T20, T20, you see the, right there, and crank it in there, all right, that is now complete, all you got to do is the finishing mat right there, it originally popped off, for the top portion, cover up the top, like I said though, on, I, on, Yours, you, you should probably definitely have two pin caps to hold it up. Uh, my mother's only, she has one right here. All you do is squeeze right there the sides on this little, little yellow portion right there. Push up. And then there you go. Unfortunately, my mom only has one. Who knows where the other one is, right? But... There you go. And because she only has one, it looks like the mat doesn't want to stay up nice and firm up there. Okay. There you go. It's the best we're going to get it. All right, everyone. So that was it. That was the installation of the air filter and cabin air filter for a 2019 Ford Escape 2.5 liter uh, front wheel drive. This is the trim level. It's just the S trim. And in this uh, installation, we used, again, the STP uh, branded. The air filter is model SA11456, and the cabin air filter is the CAF1900M. If you like these type of videos, please subscribe, like, leave a comment down below with any suggestions or features you like to see in other videos, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye!